The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 115. Get the Nasdaq down eight. S and P's are up five. Gold contract up a buck seventy, trading at 13.16 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, 16 dollars 34 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, 61 dollars 85 cents. That took a little beating yesterday. Notes and bonds still going lower. We have the 10-year note down 11 ticks, 120.21. That's testing the lows of last week. Last Friday, 30-year bond is blowing through those lows, uh, down 27 ticks, almost a full point, 143.25. Uh, King dollar, King dollar down 38 ticks, 90.08. The euro is at 122.67 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 109.5 to the U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good morning. Another morning of some volatility, right? We got volatility, man. We have volatility. There's no two ways about it. We're uh, running out at about a 26 right now. Okay. Um, and when um, we talk volatility, when we talk defined risk, when we talk options, when we talk futures, we've got to go to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade, as we do each and every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday right here, kicking off our program. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, great program. You want to understand options upside down. You want to understand futures upside down. Strategies has got it all. And when you have a fast market like we do, folks, you can learn a lot quicker. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everybody doing? Doing great, man. Doing another good. day, another two-way trade. Markets are up in the morning. Markets are down in, in the, uh, before the open. Then they rally up strong. Now they're easing back down a little bit. Futures and stocks, they're all over the board, Tom. They are. And you know, you know what's so cool about this? You know, what happens, I think, personally, do you know what I mean? Is that when you're in the market for a while, you can learn a lot about the market, but you need these cycles, Kevin, right? Because, because I think fundamentally and technically, you can learn a lot of things, but you have to see markets like this. And then the next time you see them, you know, you realize that, oh, th this is, you know, you, you get a better inclination that these markets can move like this. Do you know what I'm oh, saying? Sure. Absolutely. I mean, think about it. As big as the headlines were on Monday night about the movement in stocks, percentage-wise, that's not even a top 10 move. Great. Right? Huge point. So, Tommy and I bring that up a lot. I know. Yeah. So everyone has to understand that and understand that. And look, at you're kind of seeing volatility now. The, the, the market is still whipping, but it's not whipping as big. Right. right. Monday was, was was very big. Tuesday, not as big as Monday. Today, not as big as, as yesterday. So the market is kind of whittling down. It's finding a trading range, and it's and it's trading back and forth. That's what we talked about early in the week, and that's what we've been talking about every day. What you're going to see, higher rates are going to bring in a two-way trade. You're going to see markets rally based on good earnings, and they're going to be met by selling because of people can rotate into bonds and at these, high, at these yields. Look at the 10-year yield now, Tom. I know. It's, it's above 2.8 again. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, 2.878 right now. Big number, yeah, man. Now approaching 2.9. So yep. that's going to bring in competition for uh, yield. Right, so that's what that's what this market is consuming and digesting right now. It's a two-way trade. It's good for everybody. It's it's a healthy trade right now. It really is. Yes. I know M Monday appeared a little ugly, but all in all, this has turned into a real healthy trade. Right now, because you have a range now. You know, right. Kevin, I had just brought up. You know, yesterday we were talking about. Uh, you know, the f folks about, as to how long they've been in the marketplace, and you know, I. had Tommy had seen he's been in there a long time but look at this this just came across the tape this is pretty phenomenal so we know that social networks are running things right meaning but a Google it just happened to be that a Google executive there's a there's a testifying going right now on on DC about the, the social platforms sure and this is like we're wild as the Dow Jones industrial average suffered its biggest intraday point decline in history Monday Google's YouTube didn't 
immediately recognized stock market crash. <laughs> so the oh, how dare they? Isn't that wild? <laughs> you know, I, I, it's 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 an indication that that is how long it's been that a market actually went down quick, right? Isn't that wild? What is a what is a crash? What is a stock market crash? And that I, and, it, it didn't. We we have no recent history of that. Exactly, and it said that instead YouTube's uh, a, a logarithm, right? Saw a stock market plunge as the newsy inquiry. Um, it just it's pretty wild, man. When you think about it, it's like we're just in a new world, Tom. Yeah, that's a, uh, you know that's the, that's the thing that's different from other markets. We're just in a new world now, where you know high frequency trading is taking over these markets, so the moves are a little quicker, yes, a little more dramatic. But so are the recoveries, right? Right. When yeah. when, when these you know when these orders and these market orders that are moving the market run out and or are filled, the market snaps back like a beach ball held under the water. So that, that you know, that's what you're seeing when, yes. when you see the, the the trades are a little more violent. But nevertheless, the, the, the you know the the volatility is starting to subside here. VIX still holding above 25 though. Right. So you know, the, like I said, I believe that this is just a healthy two-way trade going on based on higher uh, you know bond yields. Sure. Right. And no, listen, man. The, the, the if they go up too fast, the market will have a conniption. There's no two ways right. about it, man. Right. So the Fed's what, biggest worry is that they're going to be behind this curve. Yes. Yes. So what are we going to be talking about today, Kevin? Well, we're, we have a good topic for you today. Remember, all week we, we've been kind of throwing our topics out the window and 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 staying right on the market as it moves. Yes. Well, we're still going to do that at the beginning of the show, but then we're going to ease into a topic. And the, and the spread that we put on a lot in, in terms of earnings and volatility is the unbalanced butterfly. So okay. we're going to cover that in depth today in, in today's show. Nice. And, you know, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex, uh, the um, Thinkorswim platform, come over to our website, hit the banner. It's a great platform. I've used it forever. You can trade with paper money. Uh, as Kevin and his team are going through these strategies, you're going to be able to take that analyze tab, go up and down the marketplace, and you'll get... Um, so into it that you're going to think you're part of that platform. <laughs> you know, it, it, isn't it? That, is that, that's what happens, doesn't it, Kevin? <laughs> it does take over your life a little bit and, and your, and your uh, awareness and what you're looking at. You really find it as kind of like a comfort zone and a warm blanket. You open it up, every, everything starts to make sense w w once you open up the platform, I always say. No, I listen, I, 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 I totally agree with you. And, you know, as Kevin goes through it, folks, okay, everyone's going to have a different level of comfort of, you know, but I, I urge you to watch the show because you'll see when Kevin's putting these on where his level of comfort is when he's doing these strategies. And, you know, the bottom line is that it's a black and white deal. So you'll get your level of comfort and you'll see whether that works for you or not, which is pretty cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, with over time and consistent learning, that you'll get a you'll you'll get a comfort, and not only a comfort, Tom. What you'll get is a menu of yes. choices, right? Right. Here's what's happening now. I should apply this strategy, this choice to that situation, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to build you with a menu of strategy choices to use in certain uh, market conditions. And listen, folks, if you happen to be in Florida. They're going to be at the Money Show. It's happening right now. That's tomorrow, I think, right? I think today. Yeah. Today, yeah. So go visit them uh, in Florida. We'll, we'll get... Uh, beautiful Orlando. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Always a pleasure, guys. Have a great day. You, you Thanks, also. Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So Dow right now uh, is down 144. You get the Nasdaq down 12. S&Ps are up two. Uh, Tom O'Brien, I see we get the natural gas. It's Thursday. It's Thursday, as if we needed more action in this market. But it's always, <clears throat> excuse me, always nice when you get some inventory numbers, almost like same with earnings, except this is earnings for natural gas, right? Um, so every Thursday, 10.30 Eastern Time, we had a nice example on oil yesterday. I'm not sure if anybody followed yeah, that throughout huge. the day, but quite a move downward, right? Where did oil finish for since, you know, at 10.30, I think we were trading 63.75. And um, by 2.30, I think we were trading 61.75, 61.50, somewhere of a dramatic move for sure. Um, so I have the chart up right now. We're looking at natural gas. We're looking at the March contract. We're currently trading... 270 288 almost 273 call it yep as we tick up 273 11 okay so we have 11 minutes until the numbers come out okay numbers coming out at 10 30 a.m eastern time every thursday and what i've done is i've pulled up <clears throat> excuse me uh some of the 12 o'clock spreads okay yeah so these expire at 12 o'clock and they're going to line up with a floor and a ceiling kind of beginning at 275 so pretty close, and as we keep talking, the natural gas contract is almost navigating right to that 275 point. But so we're about a penny and a half below that price, right? So our bearish spread, this one right here, going from 275 to 255, you got 20 cents of movement for profit potential to the downside, and you're going to have about a penny and a half of intrinsic value in the bearish one. Your bullish one's going to be all premium because you're out of the money, you know, Natural gas is at 273.3. Yep. 275 is where both of these spreads start, either bullish and bearish. So we're a little bit bearish right now where that um, the bearish spread going from 275 to 255 is going to have a little value. You'd be selling, if you want to make this volatility trade, right, you'd be selling the bearish one. That would cost you $25. Now, keeping in mind that about $17 of that 25 is intrinsic value, you know, yes. that, and you're paying the premium for the rest. And on the positive side, you have no intrinsic value, and you're just paying a similar amount of premium, $8. So you're looking at about $33 till noon for that trade, which represents about 3.3 .3 pennies away from 275 
for break even. Okay. Now that's the twelve. That's the twelve o'clocks. Okay. Yeah. Let's just jump in and see because the eleven o'clocks line up with a similar price point. And you know, it's all depending on what type of premium you want to pay for. What's your market bias, right? I mean, I I tend to like the twelve o'clocks on these just because you tend to get so much movement one way or the other. Sure. You know, beyond a half hour. And let's just see though what they would have charged. Let's close the twelve o'clocks. Here are 11 o'clock. Now, what's really nice here is that these line up with identical price points, okay? So the only difference is going to be time. So you get to quantify how much that time costs you because it's the only variable that's changed. Right. You have the same exact spread going from 275 down to 255. Now, this one, the bearish one, is going to cost you 22 if you remember, the 12 o'clock one was 25 to the bearish side, right? Yeah. So you, you got $3 extra for that extra hour if you want to go till 12. And on the bullish side, it's costing you a pretty similar $8, okay? So not much premium that you'd have to pay to go till 12 o'clock. And that's usually why I would like to go there. But you can see that this costs $30 instead of the 33 Yes. Okay? So if you're just looking for that, you know, two-minute, three-minute move right after the news – you might want to do this trade, right? Because you're paying thirty dollars, right. looking for only three pennies, as opposed to maybe thirty-three, thirty-five, three, three and a half pennies. If you really plan on, you know, only holding it for that short period of time, and you don't want to pay that premium. Um, pretty cool, though. Only about three pennies, and again, this has a little bit of a bearish side to it because if you want to break even to the bearish side, you only need three pennies under two seventy-five. So let's call it two seventy-two becomes your break even. So you can see you're less than a penny and a half away. Whereas if you need to break even to the bullish side, you got to go all the way to 278, right? Right. Yeah. Wow. But not not that bad. Not that bad, considering especially when you just pull up the chart, right? right. I mean, as of 1 a.m. Eastern time, we were down at 268. I know, and you know it's interesting here. I mean, I I I, I like the bullish side of this thing. Um, and it's okay. And I know that the intrinsic value is in there, but it's kind of interesting, man. It's like. This to me could hit 278 like pretty easily. So here's what's interesting. You like the bullish size. So yeah. This is where you want to go all, all around it, right? So, of course, no, you know, right away, just to, we're always covering the volatility trades before we jump in. If you really want to make an out of the money trade and you, you really look for a pop, I mean, you could just make a directional trade and, and get the 275 I to know 295. That it's only eight bucks, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was going to say. You know, and, yeah. and you look at the 11 o'clock, you pull up the 275 to 295, you buy that, and you're paying $8, which is basically eight tenths of a penny, right? You're buying it at 275.8. So you need two pennies of movement to the upside to break even. And from there, you have profit potential all the way up to 295. Now, let's say you still want to keep. A little bit of a volatility trade where you're looking for movement one way or the other, though. Yeah. But you want a bullish bias, okay? Right. Well, let's jump into the 8 a.m. till 2.30s. Okay. You, there, you're going to have a 2.70 price, okay? Yeah. Oh, so on this one, that's kind of nice. Yeah. you're going to have 3.7 pennies of intrinsic value to the positive side, right? The, the, the underlying straight at 273.8. So this is going to cost you about fifty dollars because you're buying it at two seventy-five to the yep. upside, but of that fifty, thirty-eight cents of that is actually intrinsic value. You're only paying about twelve, twelve cents, twelve dollars yep. of premium. And then on the flip side, you could hold the bearish one, which is going to be you know dramatically out of the money, and that's one. That one's going to cost you about eleven. And these spreads are forty pennies. Okay, we were the ones that were eleven and noons were only twenty pennies. But so to the bullish side, you would have profit potential all the way up to 310 or down to 230. So that's one where you can reverse things. It has a nice bullish bias because you only need about one to two pennies of movement to the upside to break even. You know, you're getting it at under 275. We're trading to 273.8. Your break even is just above it. And that has a bullish bias. Plus, you still have a volatility trade where if it does just spike one way or the other, you have both sides of the market. Yeah, pretty cool, man. Yeah, and these are bouncing. If you're doing this, folks, these are bouncing around a lot. And what that is is that that's trade is inside of the bid and offers. You know, did you see that? Because I just actually I uh, got a few of them, and I just went straight bullish. That's what I did. Okay. On nice. And what is happening? Just as we're talking about it, I mean, this is bouncing a penny or two yeah. left right here. I mean, you know, we were just above 274 to start the 10 o'clock hour. Yeah. We traded down to 272.4. 
you know, a penny and a half, and now we're back up to 274, 273, five. So it's bouncing around, let alone where it's been, right? I mean, as the overnight session, below 268, you're talking about five, six pennies below where we were at. And you know what's wild is that when we look at, the, you know, the aspect, uh, I was even surprised myself when I said, well, I'm bullish on this thing after the oil yesterday, because that oil got smoked. So it's like, we know we get plenty of oil. We've always had plenty of gas. You know, it's yes. like, okay, well, we'll find out. <laughs> we will find out that news yeah. coming out in less than four minutes. We're at 1026 and 30 seconds. We got three and a half minutes till the news breaks. And uh, we'll find out at the other end of this commercial break. That's right. I love it. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. And if you haven't test drove that Nadex platform, just come over to our website, hit the banner, bring it up. Uh, bottom line, you can get that demonstration account and follow along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. Dow right now is down 183. Nasdaq's up 26. S&Ps are off two and a half. Tommy and I are coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so EIA, uh, U.S. Natural Gas uh, fell. Where is she? One second. I got to just had it right here. Um, sorry about this. It disappeared on me. Let me pull this back up. Uh, gas, 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 gas. Is gas. Okay, so stockpiles fell 
119 BCF last week. Um, and it looks like the estimate was a decline of 115, so pretty close to where it was supposed to come in. Yep. And it's just, uh, right now, we're just laying there. We're we, yeah. So uh, initially, we had a spike almost above 275, above 275, almost to 276, but pulling back, and we're within a penny of where we were before um, that news. But as we know, the hour is young, and we'll yeah. see where, where it leads us. Because yesterday's oil number, well, not at the estimate, was nothing dramatic that you would have thought maybe caused a $2 drop, right. right? So, you know, and there were big numbers for distillates that were off the estimate and gas that was off the estimate in terms of um, gasoline. But not as staggering as we've seen it some weeks. And as we continue to talk, um, the price is continuing to decline. We're now below 274, 273.5, um, below 273, and we'll see where we go. You know what's intriguing here is that, you know, I, so I took that trade that uh, each one of them, five, eight, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it, it, they cost me eight bucks. I took five contracts. But I still like that trade. It's interesting because it was only eight bucks, right? So I'm only risking like $40. Do you know what I'm saying? And sure. Now let's it, stay with per contract. You're paying $8, which yeah. represents eight tenths of a penny. Right. Okay? So you were probably getting in at about two seventy five eight. Now you're paying eight dollars which is eight tenths of a penny but what to keep in mind is that you were getting into the market two and a half pennies above where it was trading at right. so keep the two they're, they're both important right it was a right. 273 five about yeah and you were getting into a 275 eight so you needed about two and a half to three pennies of movement where you started to break even but i agree when you're paying only eight dollars um and this is at 12 o'clock so nice. it's like nice. you know that's not that's not bad you know? It's not bad. Unfortunately, as we continue to talk, natural gas now at about 271. Oh, I know, but uh, yeah. it's it's still only 40 bucks. <laughs> no, defined def def risk, right? Per contract, yeah. paying less than 10 dollars per contract, um, and you got profit potential all the way up to 295 for sure. Right. And yeah. you know, so we'll see. We'll see where it shakes out. And the, oh, for at, sure. the, at the very, yeah. you know, at the at the first get go, of course, it, it popped right into the money. What's intriguing about that is that if you look at percentage wise, I was watching it. So I've only put up forty. As soon as it popped, it popped into the money by like thirty. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. We'll watch it as we go through this marketplace. Um, sure will. The, and uh, how about the market, right? Dow Jones now off 200. Oh, yeah. Let's go to yeah. our man, Tom in Plymouth. He's out there growling and prowling, man. What's happening, brother? Hey, Tom and Tommy. How are you? Doing great, Morning, man. Tom. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good. I can't complain. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, man. I'm like a broken record with this TVIX. I just, I, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it seems to be treating me pretty well. Yeah, so let's take a look at it. You get the velocity uh, shares. This is the two times VIX short term ETN, exchange traded note uh, that uh, will basically uh, trade two times the VIX short term futures index. So you're up a buck 46, you're at 10.54. Um, let's see what we got here. I think I dump half the position and just ride the rest of it. I mean, yeah, why not? Let me just look at uh, the market in general. E S H. So what we have, folks, which is really cool, is that you know, Tommy, Kevin, and I were talking about you got you got we we you got real trading here, and if this VIX stays up, well, I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't dump it just yet. Be and the reason I'm saying that, Tom, is that what I'm looking at this S and P right now, the futures. And what it's going yep. to what it's going to try to do is it's going to try to break six uh, twenty six fifty seven. I'd keep my eye well, on I this. Called, so. I forget, the other day I called, you know, I got off the phone and it shot way up and I said you know what I'm getting out of it and I did, and uh, then it all of a sudden it went way down again. So yeah, like it it moves fast. Oh, it does, yeah. it, and it's predicated right on what I'm what we're looking at right here. I mean, you know, yep. you know that that's and so we're testing right now. The lows of, uh, that's this morning, 640 this morning. You know, there's going to be big support at that level, which is 2657. That's, you know, so. I saw headlines yesterday. I think the S&P had the largest reversal since 
2016. Um, and if you start seeing, yeah, huge moves up, huge moves down. Right. That'll put some juice into the mix for sure. But I would you gotta take those profits, Tom. So kudos, man, because the the VIX is short lived spikes, right? Short lived yes. spikes. So yes. and it, All right. Hey, do you guys have one t- thing maybe you can answer me this. This gold is bugging me. Like interest rates, they keep saying they're going up but inflation they say is going up. Aren't those things kinda is it seems to be like if it, if inflation's going up, I would think that gold would go up. But if interest rates are going up, I would think that gold is going to go down. And if it's just not the the uh, that's right. That's the right. That's the right fundamental correlation. This is where the this is where even the central banks, okay, and everyone's having a problem right now. Is that what is the real rate of inflation, and what is the real interest rates? And so the way that that formula works is that let's pitch it, and they they do this off the 10-year. So if the rate of inflation right now, let's say, is 2%, right, and the 10-year is trading at 2.8, our real interest rate would be 0.8. That's how they, you know, fundamentally, school book learning, that's how that would straighten out. The When inflation takes off and the gold would take off, is that what would end up happening? is that our rate is 2.8, the inflation rate is 3.8, and that's saying that, guess what, the destruction of U.S. dollars is happening. And then gold, okay. then gold will take off. The, 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 and the bottom line is that no one knows, though. That, that's, you know, when, when you cut to the chase, that's, that's what you yeah. have happening every day. We're all speculating that the rate of inflation, um, if in fact that's out there, is bigger than the interest rate. I mean, that, my take is that, yeah, it is, but guess what, you know? Um, well, everything you buy at the store seems to be going up. Oh, me. there's, listen, ma'am, if, you, if, if, if we look back, and this is what's pretty intense, there's no doubt, if we look back only three or four years, what is like $10 or $20 worth now versus three or four years ago, right? You know, you don't even have to go back 10 years. You go back 10 years and it's like, you got to be kidding me, man, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and I guess... A $20 lo- bill is like nothing. It doesn't get you anything. You know? Well, unless you go to a Big Mac store, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you can get a Big Mac. Store, so. You know, no, I'm I'm with you. I mean, it's and it's 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 a big question, man. I mean, it's you know, I my take is that gold, you know, is going to go higher. I don't want to see big inflation. I remember you probably remember big inflation, you know, in the oh, yeah. 70s and 80s. That was a that's pretty intense, man. You know, it's the destruction of money very quickly, man. So. Cooking, right, brother. Thanks for straightening me out. Have a you great one, man. Care. Have a thanks, safe Tom. one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. You get the Dow down 237. Nasdaq's off 46. S&P's are down 5. We'll come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, 
the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow right now down 205. Nasdaq's off 38. S&P's are off three. Uh, let's go to uh, Mark, Tom, in Bedford. Hey, Mark, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How are you? Doing great, man. Yourself? I'm fine. Hi, Tommy. Hey, Mark. Good to talk to you, man. Good morning. Good morning. Tom, I had a question for you. Last night's show, you were talking about Amazon, and I had a question about Amazon. I do not have a position in it. But my question is, can Amazon, because it remains so strong, artificially keep the NASDAQ higher than the other averages? Um, not really. Uh, there's, a, there's a pretty good weighting structure, but what I've seen with Amazon, uh, and, and what we're talking about, folks, is that you know, we, had, we had this downdraft, you know, Bottom line, when you look at Amazon, it didn't, you know, you put this on a weekly and it doesn't even look like it got touched, okay? It went down to 1390, ended up closing, it went down to 1320, ended up closing at 1390. You trade in 1408. Uh, and, you know, a couple of Tigers are talking about this in the den, too, and there's no doubt. What seems to happen with Amazon is this it's the last one to go down in a correction, and it's the first one to get out of a correction. You know, when you look back, you can almost look back 2005, and you can see how that, it doesn't mean it happens every time, but Amazon normally doesn't fall apart until everyone's thrown everything out. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that's, a, that's kind of what you thought last night. And well, I thought overnight after you said that on, on your afternoon show, I said to myself, well, if that's true, then that's going to artificially keep the NASDAQ uh, index higher than the Dow and the S&P index. What I'm doing right now, I'm, gonna, I'm trying. I'm uh... just while you're pulling that up. The one thing I would say, Mark, to keep the 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 index that could be most skewed from what's happening is actually the Dow, just because of it's so price weighted. Now that doesn't say that it could remain held up, but you know you're only talking about 30 stocks, and you're talking about an index where it's price weighted in terms of only the stocks that are trading at 200 or 300 really matter compared to a and, stock and, trading uh, at 50. And Tommy, that's so true because um, look at Boeing. And I, last time I talked yeah. to you guys, which was like last week, I asked a question, would, would someone short Boeing? And Tom looked at it and said, no way. And, um, you know, it, Boeing's been um, a bull in the China shop, so to speak. And um, that's been a, on a tear. And that's, you know, that really boosted the, the Dow higher. So I understand what you're saying. And today it's taken itself. Correct on that. Yeah. Right. And Boeing, $340 price. Right. It's like, you know, it's down $6. I'm looking at your chart, Tom. Yeah. Down $6 for a $340 stock, which is barely anything. Meanwhile, it's putting 44 negative points into it. Meanwhile, you have Merck. 
which is a $56 stock, which is up barely 15 cents. But that matters when you're talking about only a $56 cent stock, $56 stock, and it's putting one point to the positive side. Yeah. It's interesting. And I'll tell, I tell you something else. I think Tom from Plymouth was, um, was psychic because I was going to call you guys with almost the same question also because I said to myself last night, um, Jesus, if this market keeps going down, wouldn't you tend to think that gold would go up? And and there seems to be no rational between because they're both going going down. So. I just thought that was interesting. But well, I know that Larry Pesavento has been kind of bearish or very bearish on gold also, so that's kind of interesting to hear you guys talk about that. Yeah, and something you got to remember that, that, you know, if you remember, like, in, in big downdrafts, gold hasn't performed. You know, I mean, if you remember the, the first downdraft, you know, in, in 2006, gold went from 1166 to 666 in a heartbeat. They sold everything. So that's always on the top of my mind. When things go bad, everything seems to get sold. Now, that being said, what also happens is this, is that in gold performed in the context of it didn't go down as much as everything else, and then as things start getting bigger, it kept going higher. You know, but it's, it's you know, I think market-wise, it's always people will sell whatever they think they get Whatever they can sell. That's what it comes down to. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you can sell. Because, you know, you get nervous, you know. I like how gold's trading. I'm, I, like, I like how it's trading. You know, come back to the strength. Um, and on a long, longer basis, what we've had here is that the last two years, and I'm not talking about just how I like how it's trading now. This has built a, a dynamite base, man. You know, we have two Decembers that hit lows. We'll come off those lows, you know, three hundred dollars higher than the low of two Decembers ago. That's thirty percent, man. You know, it's not bad. It's fifteen percent. I know, you know, we all want like, you know, hundred percent, like in, you know, seven or eight months, because that's what we've been used to a couple of times. But that doesn't mean we're, we're going to get that. You know what I mean? So, Tom, if if the market really tanks, I'm talking, uh, you know, the Dow going down consistently five, six, seven hundred points in one day, gold would follow that. People would not look at gold as a flight to safety. I I agree. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we. All right. Cooking boys. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have okay, a safe one. Take care, both guys. Take care. Bye. Nice. You know, if we go over to, uh, I get this, uh, the weighting structure, too. So the weighting structure uh, of Amazon right now is 9.1 percent inside the NDX 100. Okay. It's interesting. And you know, this is... I'm sorry. That probably makes sense from a, a cap-weighted yeah. index, you know, when you're talking about a company that's... I mean, what are they worth right now in and, terms of market cap? My goodness. And, you know, and what they six, do, and, they, yeah. and, and what ends up happening, too, it's a modified cap weighted. And yes. so I don't know what the modification is, but that's what it is. And it's yes. kind of cool, actually. You know, uh, Apple's now 10.9. Microsoft is 9.2. Amazon's 9.1. Facebook is 5.7. Google's 4.9. But fo Google's there twice. So you're going to say uh, that's, that's almost, Google's almost 10% of it because they put, you know, the both the different types of shares. So, um, not bad. That's, that's still, uh, what, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's interesting, man. That five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six stocks, and on two of those, meaning two Googles, are 50% of the index. 10, 19, 29, 39, 46. <laughs> That's pretty intense, right? It is, but yeah. you know what? Market cap wise, I mean, doesn't oh, yeah. take a, they 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 are the market in terms of, you know, you compare the top 5 or 10 stocks versus the bottom 5 or 10 and compare their market caps, man, for sure. It is. Yeah. You know, if we go back to that gas for a second, it's got to be interesting now. Gas got got a lower, but I'm not, I'm I'm laying out here at uh, 27334. That's right. We're oh. only um Less than two pennies away from, you know, having some value in that spread, and you got a good hour and ten minutes exactly from where we are. It's not bad, man. Pretty no, intense. No, definitely not. Wow. Uh, Market-wise out here, we got a little acceleration, man. So uh, let's see what we have here. Percentage-wise, you get the Dow down 1.1. NASDAQ is uh, down 9 tenths. S&P is at out 6 tenths. Um, and, you know, when you're taking a look at this, folks, okay, you know, if, if this goes down too quick, you're going to get a heck of a bounce. Um, meaning uh, we'll get a long way for the lows. I don't think we're going to hit these lows. 
Well, you know what's going to be interesting, Tommy, is that, uh, you know, Larry Pesavento, I, I love, you know, he talks a lot about when we have a down week, it's going to be really hard to go up tomorrow. So if we have a down day today, you could have a down day tomorrow. And if that's the case, folks, then next week we'll be like, whoa, okay? You know what I'm saying? Be interesting for sure. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is down 300. NASDAQ's down 71. S&Ps are off 14. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timers Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Folks, uh, Dow right now is down 327. Nasdaq's off 85. S&P's are down 17. Man, big numbers, huh, Tom? <laughs> it's just accelerating, right? For sure. <laughs> it is. And, uh, you know, folks, uh, come over to our website at TFNN. We'd love you to tell all your friends, too. Uh, we have open house on the Tiger's Den. Um, great trading room. A lot of good Tigers and Tigers in there. Great ideas in there. Uh, it's active a good uh, 12, 13 hours a day. I mean, it's, there's people in there at night, too, but the bottom line is that uh, you get a, you get a good active uh, trading room in there, a lot of great ideas. Uh, come over. You can, uh, bottom line, 30 days, it's free. Yeah, and we pretty much do this once a year, so this isn't something that comes around more than that. Um, it's it's you know, it does not usually include a free trial, so you can get in there, pay nothing for 30 days, try it out. 
Uh, cancel at any time if you don't like it. No matter what, you get 30 days to be in there, in the chat room, watching all the shows, chatting with the hosts during their programs. Um, pretty cool. So yeah. we're always in there. I'm in there right now. I know you are as well. We got the Tigers in there. Larry's in there chatting with all the Tigers, taking questions during his programs. So I encourage people to check it out. Open house. Uh, you can sign up anytime this month. No matter when you sign up, you get a full 30 days. So get in there now for sure. Pretty cool. Definitely. And uh, as we're talking, yeah, that just accelerated. Look at this S&P, folks. This S&P just went. Uh, it would, this S&P is going to go after. This is interesting, man. So we're down 22 bucks. We said this intraday. Yeah, it's this is a good break. It's, it's just broke the. Uh, oh, it's going after the low of uh, last night. And that's saying that now it's game. This is going to be intriguing, man. Holy cow! <coughs> so me. the twenty six forty five. We get the big spiking. Yeah. Gotta love it, man. Action. You stay right there, folks. Uh, swim lessons coming up. And, uh, of course, I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. And uh, I'm man, Mr. Andy Heck. Tommy, thanks so much, man. Have a great thanks, one. Man. Have a safe one. You too. Dow's down 360. NASDAQ down 96. S&P's off 21. Stay right there, folks. Swim lessons coming right up. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.